morning children how are you all we have learned how to read time in this video we are going to learn one more thing that is how to find the time duration if two times are known to us the starting time and the ending time of an event so children how to do this we are going to do it with a powerpoint presentation and there are so many events where you want to know what was the time duration like of that of a movie or a football match or something like that so we are going to do that today come let's go to our powerpoint presentation time duration this i am going to explain you with the help of these clocks so children time duration is the amount of time which has passed between the starting time and the ending time of an event okay let us see this first clock the time is 335 since our minute hand is at 7 and here the time is 350 now you have to find out how much time has passed from 335 to 350 okay let us see i told you that the movement of the clock is always like this from 12 to 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 5 to 6 and so on so after 7 the clock will go 5 minutes till 8 another 5 minutes till 9 and another 5 minutes till 10 so how many minutes are there 5 plus 5 plus 5 so that is 15 minutes so if you add 15 minutes to 335 you get 350 so the answer is 15 minutes okay let's come here the time in this clock is 6 5 minutes past 6 okay so suppose you started working 5 minutes past 6 and finished your maths homework at 6:30 now you want to find out how much time did you take to finish your maths homework okay let us see from 1 to 2 it is 5 to 2 to 3 again 5 3 to 4 again 5 4 to 5 again 5 minutes 5 to 6 again 5 minutes okay so let us add them up 5 10 15 20 25 so children if we add 25 minutes to 5 minutes past 6 we will get 630 so the time duration for you to finish your maths homework is 25 minutes got it beta okay let's see this the time on this clock is 340 suppose you started getting ready at 340 you had to go somewhere and you left your house at 4 o'clock so now you want to find out how much time did you take to get ready so so let us start counting after 340 okay 5 plus 5 10 plus 5 15 plus 5 20 so when after 340 for the clock to reach 4 o'clock 20 minutes will be added so the time duration is 20 minutes okay i hope by the time by now you would have understood this how to find the time duration okay let us do for this one now let us suppose that you have to prepare for a test after coming back from the park you started studying at 
and you finished your studies at 7.45. You prepared you for the test. Your work is complete. Let us see how much time did you take. Okay, so our minute hand started moving in this direction. Let us start adding the time. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 and 35. So 35 minutes it is going to take to reach the number 9 for the time to be quarter to 8. So the time duration is 35 minutes. Okay, I have prepared another slide for the same. Okay. The time on this slide is 3.35 and the time on this slide is 4.50. Suppose your parents dropped you at your friend's place at 3.35. You enjoyed and had fun and they came to pick you up at 4.50. Now you want to find out for how long did you stay at your friend's place? Hmm. Now children, this you have to do it very carefully because it is not only few minutes. This is 3.35 and this is 4.50. So, now listen carefully. From 3.35 to 4.35 exact it is 1 hour. Okay, children? Now, after 4.35 to 4.50, we have to calculate how many minutes are there. So, 4.35 will be here. Okay? So, we have to reach till 4.50. So, 5, 10, 15. So, it is 1 hour 15 minutes. See children, I will repeat once again. From 3.35 to 4.35. It is exact 1 hour. And from 4.35, we will start counting the minutes till 4.50. How will we count? When the minute hand is at 7, it will be 4.35. Now let us start counting. 5, 10, 15. So this is 1 hour 15 minutes. So you had good time with your friend for 1 hour 15 minutes. Okay, let's see this. The time on this clock is 5 minutes past 6. And the time on this clock is 7.30. Okay, so you want to find out the time duration between these two times. Again children, we will do the same. From 5 minutes past 6 to 5 minutes past 7, exact 1 hour will pass. Right? And after that you have to reach till 7.30. From 7.5 to 7.30. So it will be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So it will be 1 hour 25 minutes. Got it children? Shall I repeat it again? Okay, I'll repeat this also once again. Children, from 5 minutes past 6, to 5 minutes past 7. See, which number has changed? The hours number has changed. So, 1 hour has passed. From 5 minutes past 6 to 5 minutes past 7, 1 hour has passed. And after that, let us count the minutes till 7.30. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So 1 hour 25 minutes have passed. 
okay let us see these two clocks here the time is 3:40 and here the time is 5:15 so children you are making a beautiful drawing which your art ma'am told you to draw you started at 3:40 and you finished at 5:15 so let us find out how much time did you take to draw that drawing okay now see children look carefully this is 3:40 and this is 5:15 look at the r number here the r number is 3 and here it is 5 so we have to do it very very carefully beta from 3:40 to 4:40 will be 1 hour and 4:40 to 5:40 will be 2 hours but we have finished our work at 5:15 so we have taken less than 2 hours so how much time have we taken okay let us do it once again 3:40 to 4:40 is exact 1 hour okay children now we know we have taken more than 1 hour but less than 2 hours okay so let us start counting the minutes so we will start counting from here we have to go till 3 5 10 15 20 25 30 and 35 so it will be 1 hour 35 minutes shall i repeat this one also it is slightly difficult so let me repeat it okay children from 340 to 440 is exact 1 hour okay children now from 440 to 540 will be two another one hour so that will make two hours but see carefully we have finished our work much earlier than 540 we have finished at 515 so it means our work has got finished in one hour and some minutes we have to find how many minutes so we will start from here let us start counting the minutes till we reach 3 number 3 okay the minutes will be 5 10 15 20 25 30 so this is 1 hour 35 minutes okay the last one children Here the time is seven ten, and here the time is nine forty five. Okay, let us find the time duration between the two clocks. Okay, so this is from seven ten to eight ten is one hour. From eight ten to nine ten is another hour. That makes two hours. One hour plus one hour is two hours. Okay, from nine ten. to 9:45 we have to find out how many minutes from 9:10 to 9:45 it means from 2 number 2 to number 9 we have to count the minutes beta okay let us start counting 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 so this would be 2 hours 35 minutes i hope children you would have understood how to find the time duration that's all for today thank you children and have a great day